Welcome back guys it's me the guy with redstone skill back on my youtube channel with another redstone build today's redstone build is actually a very massive build last time i think you guys know what i built last time i built is a 6 by 6 massive prison trap door and that was certainly impressive because that was extremely fast and nice but i think Why not scale up things a little bit? Let's do an 8 byte piston door. Now this 8 byte piston door took me 8 days to build. But this thing was built before the 6 by 6. I built it before the 6 by 6. But I thought let's scale up things by a little bit. Scale down things a little bit and build the 6 by 6 first and then show it first. And then I'll show the 8 byte piston trap door. You know makes sense like you do it gradually as normal people do so now in front of you if I go into normal perspective you can see is the 8 byte massive piston trap door Here it is the massive 6x6. Six six. I mean the massive 8 byte. The massive 8 byte piston trap door. This thing is really really huge. As you can see nice and clear platform think like you can also build redstone contraptions on top of this thing but as soon as I flick the lever you know what's gonna happen I think you saw it. The massive 8x8 piston door just opened in front of you. Now let's close it again. It's even massively fast while it's closing. This is a very pretty and massive belt which I built. And it's heavily compact for stacked quadruple piston extender by which it is working. Let me explain you. This here is the piston layout. One, two, three, four. Or quadruple piston extender. And yes, this thing also uses tons of observer. Okay, let me explain you nicely. When we flick the lever on, the quadruple piston extender extends. And there is another time that the third piston retracts for extremely small time. I'll explain you why does it retract. And you cannot close the door until not the third retraction is happening. So yeah, there is a limitation here. And yes, there are limitations with bedrock redstone because this thing is so massive. In quadruple piston extender, there are, I think, uh, four pistons. So you need one, two, three, 
four, five, six. You need six retractions to happen inside an eight by four area, and there is clearly not that much area available for us. So we have to get a bit clever. Let me explain you. That that's extremely hard technical stuff. Let me explain you why are so many repeaters over here. This is the main block through which the entire contraction runs. This just runs into the first piston, powering the first piston. And yes, there are also delay. There's a four, eight, twelve, sixteen, sixteen tick delay on the back. The second has an eight tick. The third has a six tick, and the first has like a three tick or so. And this thing works on honey flash slime box. This is not a seamless design. Yeah, because if you want to make it seamless, you're just gonna hell up your life. It's so hard to create piston doors or, or piston trap doors seamless. And it will take me a lot of time to explain you all of the contraptions. Like why is a piston with another redstone block, a piston with an observer, why is there a hopper, etc. etc. And if all of these two are on, why is this one off? Because you know th there is no need for this to be turning on because this a retraction torch. This works for the retraction. Ah, uh, you guys couldn't see it. Let me show you again. This is the quadruple extension. And, so did you see? It turned on for extremely short amount of time. So that the third piston can retract the first, uh, the blocks back in it. And the last double piston extender is extremely slow. Due to the fact there was no home left for us to create another last contraption, so that is why we have to put that torch off again. That's why it also works on the extension side, and the third piston extender leaves the uh, fourth piston extender extending. And now that why there are a lot of redstone contraptions involved in here, due to simply the fact. It's a quadruple piston extender. This, this is stacked quadruple piston extender, which is also designed by me. This thing is actually literally extremely hard. And now you must be asking, this is way too much for a quadruple piston extender. But no, this is actually way too less for a quadruple piston extender. Quadruple piston extenders get really massive. I've seen others, other small YouTubers building quadruple piston extender. These are like dinosaur sized. But if you see my quadruple piston extender, you'll be laughing. That how is that so compact? But this stacked. <coughs> All of them react independently. And here you can see another example of compaction. That this thing powers this. And this thing also powers this. Or I could have just used another torch here which was going into here with another torch inverting it. But no, I, I have done it the clever way. And there are so many torches due to the fact we we want all of them to be independent if all of them would be connected to you know you cannot actually power pistons from up you will be needing a lot of room space so that's why i did everything on the bottom and this also creates the fact that they are independent this way better
and yes this block of redstone is for powering this first row which will deactivate on the same side it's pretty much the same same story this long observer line the 18 tick delay the third piston leaving the fourth piston extending see so in a nutshell this torch this torch line is responsible for the fourth fourth extension this torch line for the third this block for the second and this one for the first and this one also for the first because we need ticks and if you are still not convinced that this is not a worth it design then just look at the piston extension and retraction it looks so satisfying my device is not that powerful so that is why it sometimes cannot render that how many blocks have moved out of the way so sometimes blocks turn black yeah but if you have a really powerful pc there it should not be doing that i have a extremely low powerful one that's why this happens this will not be fast like the 6x6 but i can assure this is m much faster for 8x8 piston trap door i'm so proud of this thing as i designed it myself i took the help of no one and i also never because i like to design thing my way and i think you can also see that there is a uh, two line of blocks which are just avoiding this redstone to be interfering with this one because this line and this line has separate ticks yeah redstone is extremely hard but at the end of the day this thing works and yeah guys tell me if you have liked the build and if you have liked the build please please like the video also and please consider subscribing and share this video with your friends comment that there are is some flaws or not that i can fix or, or give me tips what to build next i love designing piston extender piston doors and piston trap doors these are actually my topic anything related to pistons because redstone is my topic you know i just can do the piston doors and if it rust off better so please consider subscribing please 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 consider subscribing if you like the build you have to subscribe please please just do it thank you if you have did it and if you want if you want i can also do a tutorial on it but it will be like half an hour long but if you want i can surely do a tutorial on this thing but it will take me a lot of time okay but i'll surely do it just let me know if you want a tutorial or not and i'll be doing it so goodbye bye for now i'll be seeing you guys later with another proper redstone build Goodbye. Bye for now.